Hi guys! Hello! And we're back! And this is gonna be a quick one, but first of all, happy Valentine's Day to everyone! You might be wondering why I'm quite dressed up for today, at least from the waist up. I have just finished uh, doing Zoom interviews for a few candidates applying for the position of a staff nurse um, in our hospital here in the UK. But um, since um, the recurring theme for a lot of my videos here in my channel is about my life here uh, as a nurse in the UK, uh, particularly in Cambridge, I have also touched... Um, something about the recruitment process that I went through before I landed this job in the UK. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to share uh, a few of the themes for uh, the interview questions that I have encountered today and in the previous interviews that I have done. So for today, um, the, uh, the themes were mainly focused about first infection control, which as nurses, this should be very basic to us. Infection control um, should be focused on not just managing uh, the infection or the identified infections in the hospital or with your patient, but this should also... Um, revolve around prevention and uh, management and then patient education because as you know as nurses our duties always follow um, the nursing procedure or the um, no nursing procedure <laughs> Um, our ADPI, there's always assessment diagnosis of the problem implementation Sorry, planning, implementation, and evaluation. So, in any scenario that will be thrown to you in your job interviews, always follow or always incorporate ADPI, um, particularly infection control. Um, also, about patient... Sorry, I have my notebook with me. Patient safety. So, patient safety um, is... Uh, one of the primordial and um, one of the most basic uh, things that we have to look into. This is going to be a recurring theme for a lot of job interviews. Uh, regardless of uh, the position you're applying for, you can be applying for a staff nurse, uh, a healthcare assistant, or someone uh, more, uh, more senior. Patient safety is always going to come up uh, as part of the question. So I would probably advise you to prepare your answers and base them and base them around uh, the patient experience, identifying hazards, preventing uh, the risks or identifying the risks, um, preventing the risks management of the actual risks uh, presented in the ward and then uh, yeah uh, you, you can build up your answers on that next would be difficult situations whether a difficult situation would be um, a complaint by a relative or a complaint a complaint uh, from a patient or um, a disagreement between two staff members then those are your difficult situations. You can base your answers on, of course, uh, let's go back to ADPI, assessment. Make sure you know what's happening. Ask and um, formulate your plan. And then um, you know when you need to escalate, know when you need to intervene, know the limits of the interventions that you can do. And yeah, uh, just... Make sure you're aware that there is always somebody more senior uh, than you who can deal with um, complaints or with issues, problems, concerns that are above your uh, that are above you or above your uh, job role. Um, in a lot of hospitals, especially here in the UK, we have um, patient liaison services who can advise you about um, the handling and management of um, these kind of matters and then yeah 
always make sure we listen, we empathize, we uh, acknowledge their feelings. If we can give a straight answer and if we can deal uh, with those uh, issues from our level, then go for it. But yeah, just make sure you know when to escalate, who to escalate to, and refer the person. Um, or yeah, you know, you get what I mean. Next would be emergency situations. So emergency situations are not only limited to emergency situations in the ward. Although the um, although the interview question would normally uh, give you the place or the clinical area where this um, emergency situation would have been happening. Um, if it's in the ward, then you know you have your emergency buzzer. Um, you ask for help regardless of whether it is an emergency or you think it's a false emergency always ask for help um never underestimate the severity of an emergency situation always ask for help it all it's always better to call out for help and uh, step down the uh, uh and step down the people who have arrived to help you if it's not an actual emergency rather than not um not ask for help and then it happens to be a full-blown emergency uh, always have your equipment ready always ask for the crash trolley um, a lot of hospitals especially here in the uk have their uh, emergency response teams their rapid response teams always make use of um, the resources that you can think of or that you have and finally privacy and dignity so privacy and dignity will always revolve around the patient not just the patient records or the procedure that they are going for, but around the patient. You can mention about, um, you can mention about uh, draping, making sure that there are curtains drawn around for privacy. But you also have to consider uh, if a patient is in a bay or in or if the patient is in a clinic close to a sitting area, you should acknowledge the tone of your voice, the volume of your voice when you discuss um, when you discuss personal matters or confidential matters. Consider closing the patient's charts or uh, minimizing your computer screen when you have to step away uh, from the patient record if you have to get something or whatever. Um, dignity will always have to revolve with patient consent, personal choices, individual preferences, um, treating the patient as a unique individual, and then you can build up your um, answers uh, on this um, on these ideas. So I hope that this have been uh, quite helpful. Um, um, give me a, I mean. Write down in the comment section if you have any questions. Otherwise, you can also uh, mention your questions. Ask me your questions through my Instagram. Slide to my DMs. <laughs> or um, I have a Facebook page, uh, The Certain Experience. Of course, you can always message me on that one. I might actually ask for questions in the future because I'm planning to do another Q&A vlog. Uh, at some point. I'm still quite busy with my uh, regular work and then I still have my uh, musical theater uh, on top of that. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, showing this March 30th until April 2nd here in Cambridge. Uh, you can see the details um, in the internet. But um, I hope this has been helpful. Happy Valentine's Day again for everybody. I'm just gonna have a quick lunch brunch now and then i have a valentine's date later char anyway bye everyone uh stay safe